Perry Seckham, Sir Harry Donald Seckham, CBE, September 8, 1921, April 11, 2001, was a Welsh comedian, actor and singer. Seckham was a member of the British radio comedy programme The Goon Show, 1951-60, playing many characters, but most notably, Nettie Seagoon. An accomplished tenor, he also appeared in musicals and films, notably as Mr. Bumble and Oliver. 1968, and, in his later years, was a presenter of television shows incorporating hymns and other devotional songs. Seckham was born in St. Thomas, Swansea, the third of four children of Nellie Jane Gladys, Nay Davis, a shop manager, and Frederick Ernest Seckham, a grocer. From the age of 11 he attended Dinover School, a state grammar school in central Swansea. His family were regular churchgoers, belonging to the Congregation of St. Thomas Church. A member of the choir, from the age of 12 Seckham would perform a sketch entitled The Welsh Courtship at Church Socials, acting as fee to his sister Carol. His elder brother, Fred Seckham, was the author of several books about his experiences as an Anglican priest and rector. After leaving school in 1937, Seckham became a pay clerk at Baldwin store. With war looming, he decided in 1938 that he would join the Territorial Army. Very short sighted, he got a friend to tell him the sight test, and then learned it by heart. He served as a lance bombardier in No. 132 Field Regiment of the Royal Artillery. He would refer to the unit in which he served during the Second World War in the North African Campaign, Sicily, and Italy, as the Five Mile Snipers. While in North Africa, Seckham met Spike Milligan for the first time. In Sicily he joined a concert party and developed his own comedy routines to entertain the troops. When Seckham visited the Falkland Islands to entertain the troops after the 1982 Falklands War, his old regiment promoted him to the rank of sergeant, 37 years after he had been demobbed. He made his first radio broadcast in May 1944 on a variety show aimed at the services. Following the end of fighting in the war but prior to demobilization Seckham joined a pool of entertainers in Naples and formed a comedy duo with Spike Milligan. Seckham joined the cast of the Windmill Theatre in 1946, using a routine he had developed in Italy about how people shaved. Seckham always claimed that his ability to sing could always be counted on to save him when he bombed. Both Milligan and Sellers credited him with keeping that on the bill when club owners had wanted to sack them. After a regional touring career, his first break came in radio when he was chosen as resident comedian for the Welsh series Welsh Rarebit, followed by appearances on Variety Band Box and a regular role in Educating Archie. Second met Michael Benting at the Windmill Theatre, and was introduced to Peter Sellers by his agent Jimmy Grafton. Together with Spike Milligan, the four wrote a comedy radio script, and Those Crazy People was commissioned and first broadcast on May 28, 1951. Produced by Peter Ross. This would soon become a goon show and the show remained on the air until 1960. Seckham mainly played Nettie C. Goon, around whom the show's absurd plots developed. In 1955, whilst appearing on the goon show, Seckham was approached by the BBC to step in at short notice to take the lead in the radio comedy Hancock's Half Hour. The star of the show, Tony Hancock, had decided to take an unannounced break abroad the day before the live airing of the second season. Seckham appeared in the lead for the first three episodes and had a guest role in the fourth after Hancock's return. All four episodes are lost, but following the discovery of the original scripts the episodes were re-recorded in 2017, with Andrew Seckham performing the role held by his then-late father. With the success of The Goon Show, Seckham developed a dual career as both a comedy actor and a singer. At the beginning of his career as an entertainer his act would end with a joke version of the duet Sweethearts, in which he sang both the baritone and falsetto parts. Trained under Italian maestro Manlio di Verali, he emerged as a bel canto tenor, characteristically, he insisted that in his case this meant can bel to, and had a long list of best-selling record albums to his credit. In 1958 he appeared in the film Jetstorm which starred Dame Sybil Thorndike and Richard Attenborough and in the same year Seckham starred in the title Errol and Davy, one of Ealing Studios' last films. The power of his voice allowed Seckham to appear in many stage musicals. This included 1963's Pickwick, based on Charles Dickens' The Pickwick Papers, which gave him the number 18 hit single If I Ruled the World, his later signature tune. In 1965 the show was produced on tour in the United States where on Broadway he garnered a nomination for a Tony Award for Best Actor in a Musical. He also appeared in the musical The Four Musketeers, 1967, at Drury Lane, 
as Mr. Bumble and Carol Reed's film of Oliver. 1968, and in the end the segment of The Magnificent Seven Deadly Sins, 1971. He would go on to star in his own television show, The Harry Seckham Show, which debuted on Christmas Day 1968 on BBC One and ran for 31 episodes until 1973. A sketch comedy show featuring Julian Orchard as Seckham's regular sidekick, the series also featured guest appearances by fellow goon Spike Milligan as well as leading performers such as Ronnie Barker and Arthur Lowe. Seckham later starred in similar vehicles such as Sing a Song of Seckham and I'd Seckham with music during the 1970s. Later in life, Seckham, whose brother Fred Seckham was a priest in the church in Wales, part of the Anglican Communion, attracted new audiences as a presenter of religious programs, such as the BBC's Songs of Praise and ITV's Stars on Sunday and Highway. He was also a special programming consultant to Harlack Television and hosted a Thames television program in 1979 entitled Cross on the Donkey's Back. In the latter half of the 1980s, Seckham personally sponsored a football team for boys aged 9 to 11 in the local West Sutton Little League, Seckham's Knights. In 1990, he was one of a few to be honored by a second appearance on This Is Your Life, when he was surprised by Michael Aspel at a book signing in the London branch of W.H. Smith. Seckham had been a subject of the show previously in March 1958 when Naaman Andrews surprised him at the BBC Television Theatre. In 1963 he was appointed a commander of the Order of the British Empire, CBE. He was knighted in 1981, and jokingly referred to himself as Circumference, in recognition of his rotund figure. The motto he chose for his coat of arms was Go On, a reference to Goon. Seckham suffered from peritonitis in 1980. Within two years, taking advice from doctors, he had lost five stone in weight. He had a stroke in 1997, from which he made a slow recovery. He was then diagnosed with prostate cancer in September 1998. After suffering a second stroke in 1999, he was forced to abandon his television career, but made a documentary about his condition in the hope of giving encouragement to other sufferers. Seckham had diabetes in the latter part of his life. Seckham died on April 11, 2001 at the age of 79, from prostate cancer, in hospital in Guildford, Surrey. His ashes are interred at the parish church of Shamley Green, and a later memorial service to celebrate his life was held at Westminster Abbey on October 26, 2001. As well as family members and friends, the service was also attended by Charles, Prince of Wales and representatives of Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, Anne, Princess Royal, Princess Margaret, Countess of Snowdon and Prince Edward, Duke of Kent. On his tombstone is the inscription, To know him was to love him. Upon hearing of his old friend's death, Spike Milligan quipped, I'm glad he died before me, because I didn't want him to sing at my funeral. But Seckham would have the last laugh, upon Milligan's own death the following year, a recording of Seckham's singing was played at Spike's memorial service. The Seckham Theatre at Sutton, London, bears his name in memory of this former local personality. He is also fondly remembered at the London Welsh Centre, where he opened the bar on St. Patrick's Day, 17th of March, 1971. Seckham met Myra Joan Atherton at the Mumbles Dance Hall in 1946. The couple were married from 1948 until his death, and had four children. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.